Hello. Hello. Welcome to our hotel unboxing video um, because we are in Spain. Mallorca. Yeah. Or Mallorca as they say. Do they say Mallorca? Well, it's written in Mallorca. Yeah, but they don't speak English. No, they speak Spanish. Yeah. here yesterday after one hell of a debacle which I will write about at some point on my blog and we'll do a video for that as well uh, because took our nest still dealing with it and I don't want to bring it all up I'm now. too tired yeah um, but long story short we've been here now coming up 24 hours I've only just remembered what the word for goodbye is in Spanish. Which we will show you at the end. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> We've both got coughs. Yeah, it's shocking. So, um, we're staying in the Luna Park Hotel in Parma, which I wasn't sure of at first, but it's actually very nice. So let's, this video is just unboxing the hotel room, giving you a tour. Because it came in a big box. <laughs> so, uh, that's just your cleavage. Uh, this <laughs> this is uh, the bed. It's two single beds. Because that's how they seem to do it. Yeah. Um, it's a nice picture on the wall. Happy with that. It's weirdly painted. I don't know what that's about, but I'm not fussed too much. The lights all work. It's nice enough. We've got some tables. We've got the aircon to work. Yep, yeah, you've got the aircon to work. It wasn't working at first because the door wasn't closed. Which we'll show you. Oh, there's a flat screen telly which uh, has CNN, BBC World News, and the rest is all German. Yes. There is no Spanish television channels on the Spanish TV in our Spanish hotel room. Take you outside. So yeah, there's a uh, tennis centre thingy behind us. Some people enjoying the pools, spit rounds. And over there is a mountain and a sea and stuff and some apartments. It's nice enough. Thanks. Big enough for what we need. Just got a couple of chairs. Take you back inside. Oh, aircon comes on when you shut the doors. We've got a safe which you have to rent. Some blankets up there for winter. I don't know what it's like here in winter. At the moment it's mid 20s, but it is quite cloudy today. Yeah. Do you know that's fine for me? We it's went for a short enough. walk. Yeah, we went to a nice little beach. Now this is the weird bit, I'll, I'll just show you outside the door. See, look at that. From the corridor, you would say that this is a modern, quite futuristic, minimalist hotel. The bathroom but the bathroom door is a sliding pane of glass. It's quite a modern, futuristic hotel. And yet, the rest of the hotel room, aside from a flat, flat screen telly, is... Quite dated. It's a little bit dated. It's fine, it works. I quite like it, it's got a bit of character. But it's, it's almost as if they've upgraded... The cheap option. Yeah. Uh, show you the... Box standard bathroom. Box standard bathroom. There's the poo. Sink, mirror, hello. <laughs> so when you want to do a poo, you shut the door, Ah! Did you hear that? I did. Oh. Pen glass does nothing. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> yeah, pen glass does nothing. Um, what you'd find in a council house in terms of shower and bath, <laughs> but it's okay. And when I say council house, I don't mean a modern one because they use modern bathrooms nowadays. <coughs> it is 80s. <laughs> the bit I find the most fun of this entire room. Town's nice, everything's clean. Everything's fine. It might look a bit grey and dated, but it's all clean. I'm happy. Is this. Now, this here is the wardrobe I just showed you. The wardrobe takes up the entire wall. So, how could there be a rather shocked looking window? That doesn't make any sense, does it? Nope. Just what is it? What is behind window number one? Some pipes! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <coughs> Like, 
Yeah, rather than install a passageway, maybe, or... They've gone for the cheaper option. They've probably. just installed a double-glazed window in the wall of our... Shit. In the wall of... Take the camera. <laughs> I mean, it's got... That's a wastewater pipe. And it's actually quite cool in there, so maybe it's ventilation as well. Who knows? Who cares? But there you are. That's our hotel room. It's a three-star hotel. From the food's very nice, it's clean. Um, it's a bit warm in the restaurant, but a ceiling fan. There is some air con, but you have to be sat in the right place for it to have any effect. Well, so it's quite a big room, so they've got lots of busy bodies in yeah. there. Drinks are nice. The, I had the cheap local beer. Again, it's all inclusive, that was all right. Uh, yeah, not quite. Rose wine. But... Rose wine was horrific. Add lemonade was, to it, somewhere. Yeah, the rose wine was vinegar. <laughs> um, yes, Connor would be happy with that. So yeah. We should try the white wine tonight. We shall indeed, dear. It's quite nice. It's only three star, and we are the only Brits here that we found. We think, yeah. um, lots of French. German. And it's a mixture of ages, because being cheap, you think it'd be definitely on TripAdvisor. There's some videos saying that, or there's some reviews saying that it's full of teenagers. Yeah. And there are plenty of 20-somethings here. But there's a mixture. There's people here who are clearly old enough to know better. <laughs> you know, people, I like that. <laughs> people who could be our parents and their parents. So, uh, yeah. yeah. It's not loud. No, I slept fine last night. There were people up and down the corridor and stuff, but... Yeah. You won't be able. Did I? Sorry. I don't know whether you're making a rude joke there or whether that's Story. a joke about snoring. Okay. <laughs> right. On that bombshell, um, and you're probably upset because there's no punch. There is no punch, we've had to leave him. Oh, oh, we miss you, punch, vaguely. Thank you to Emily Lee who are looking after him at the flat. Meanwhile, from Parma in Mallorca, Balearic Islands in Spain, it's. Adios! Adios! <laughs> we learnt it at last. We learnt a word. Mm.